Doctors always say know your numbers. They've warned us high blood pressure and cholesterol can lead to heart disease and stroke. But they can also cause another condition that many don't think about. Tisha Powell is here to explain what it is and why it's so dangerous. Tisha? Fred and Anna, it's called peripheral artery disease, or PAD, and if not treated, can cost a patient their legs, not to mention it's very painful too. But a local doctor who wants to raise awareness says early intervention and new equipment now available is making all the difference. 59-year-old Kevin Spradling is now walking with ease. Just two years ago, a typical workday meant horrible pain. I would walk from one building to another, and I basically would be in so much pain that I would literally have to sit down till the pain went away, and then I'd get up and try to walk again. Dr. Steve Lair, medical director of Triangle Vascular Associates, diagnosed Kevin with peripheral artery disease, or PAD. He identified blockages in the arteries of both of Kevin's legs, one so severe he could have eventually lost his leg. Most of the time, people with the disease that he had below the knee, um, it, you know, they the only surgical option sometimes um, is, is an amputation, so you really um, try to prevent that. Dr. Lair says surgery wasn't an option due to Kevin's small diseased arteries, so he opted for a procedure using small catheters to open the blocked arteries. So we used a, um, a special device called an atherectomy device, which actually is like a rotor rooter and basically cleared out the, the disease, we call it plaque in the artery. Uh, and then we, uh, we dilated that with a balloon afterwards. Restoring blood flow to Kevin's legs. Dr. Lair says new equipment now available is giving him the ability to save more patients' legs. Many of the procedures um, we can do today are due to advancements in technology and, the, and a lot of the, um, the products that are created. They allow us to get into smaller arteries and open those up, and that, uh, that allows you know, normal flow. Kevin says he's feeling 10 years younger now that he's pain free and is spreading the word about the dangers of PAD. If I had not went to my doctor and let her know what the symptoms were, I would probably still be living in pain. Dr. Lair says there's another new procedure using a laser to eat through that plaque in the arteries, another tool to save a patient's legs. As for Kevin, he's now back to bowling, basketball, and spending time with his grandkids with no pain and no worry of losing his legs. Fred, Anna, wow, that's right. a success. Yeah, Kevin feeling 10 years younger, I'd yeah. say. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing that. what they can do, wow. Mm -hmm.